after listening to those voices on how the people are waiting for the library to be given by Ngamsha Vicky. Yes, Crisco, you know, Ngamsha Vicky is a motivational speaker, as you have heard from Michael Laura, who is her representative in the country. Now that you have listened to these impressions of the people and what Ngamsha Vicky is about to do to the Kikaikalaki community, what have you to say? Mercy, I only appeal to those she is soliciting help from to be generous enough. Yes, Crisco, I pray the same prayer. And the only message we have for Mama Vela is... Mama Vela, we can't wait to have our library. Thank you in advance. That road is going to be blocked.
junction time is so busy. So we should but so hopefully when I join from junction nine I should go bigger. On this faithful day, we are guested with two beautiful young ladies in our studio, accompanied by two handsome men. They are going to be talking to us about Michael Laura, who is in the studio to talk particularly on Mama Vela project. And in the studio, we have George, Father Terence, and Melanie. Well, this is just how much I can introduce those people. Meanwhile, in the course of the program, they are going to be introducing themselves to you listeners. We are going to be listening to Michael Laura and the rest of the people in the studio talk about Ngamsha Vicky. George, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you for that. Before I uh, uh, get to other people, I think... Uh, Michael Laura, you are welcome to this program. You have been a, a part of us. You are part of this program recently. You have been here and um, you have come here again. You work in, as a nurse in a Sacred Heart College, Douala, and at the same time you are, you are a musician. But today we shall be talking on your music prowess as, far, as well as the main issues in this program today. So, Michael Laura, what brings you here today? Thank you very much, George. I'm happy to be here again in this program. I was here last time and I was talking about, we we're talking on music and acting. And today we are coming here to talk about uh, VVL, Extended Hands. Uh, I will be telling the people uh, about VVL, what VVL stands for, this Extended Hands. This is a new thing in our land, in this town, Cameroon, and the world at large. Thank you. Okay, so uh, before you tell us uh, about who, who is VVL or what is it all about, as you say, what, what, is, what does it stand for, VVL? Thank you very much. VVL is simply uh, a company name which stands for uh, Vela Vicky extended hands and this is a lady an african lady a cameroonian and she is from so she is a uk based motivational speaker public speaker uh, she is passionate about helping business young people and individuals to refrain from limit from limiting them uh, beliefs uh, negative thinking work to, to work also towards their dreams in life it is possible if she could do it, then you and I, George, can do it. Her passion is to reach out the world and touching the hearts of those demoralized to motivate and inspire them with practical and personal examples of true life stories. Her aim is to encourage women empowerment, domestic or uh, then fight against domestic violence, importance of education, demands and challenges of family life, cultural uh, integration in the community, voluntary, uh, fight against poverty, improving relationships, and making firm choices in life. Uh, it seems that you are her mouthpiece in the studio this afternoon. <laughs> she is not with us. And I want to ask you this question. What actually motivated her to start all this? talking about education, violence, and things like that. What is the rationale behind all this? Like I said before, Ngamsha Vicky, through her life story, she has been uh, touched 
and uh, she wouldn't want such to happen to another child, even an adult. So she wants to touch the hearts of people through talking. She may not have enough, as she said, but the little she has, she is willing to give out and also to talk to the young people, you so know, to be able to work hard in life. And she has not been working alone. We have Father Terence here who has been along with her. And we also have a daughter here who knows her better. And we'll be talking a lot of things about her. Ngamsha Vicky uh, right now is uh, aiming at coming, you know, seeing the orphans and uh, visiting some schools, opening a library for the young people here in Kumbu and many other things. She has been touched. I, I don't understand from what perspective this touch is coming from. Okay. Is it that uh, during uh, her, her childhood as she was growing, is it that she was marginalized or she went through rough hands and she wants to use this experience in teaching the young people and the, 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 the public at large or how, how is this touch? I don't understand. Exactly. Exactly. Gamsha Vicky is, uh, is a girl that really grew up as a poor African child, you know, her home was, uh, I don't know how to say it, they really, they had barely uh, enough to feed themselves in the family, yeah. and uh, the story is just so long, and uh, it was not a good past life, but she is not, she does not look at the past to disturb her. She is moving ahead with life, and she knows, she knows that today in our country, a lot of children are going through the same torture she went through. And uh, she, she, that's why she is aimed at helping those children through her own talk by speaking out, you know, from there, the children will really, they will be motivated you not know, to work hard, to forget about what they are going through. Because sometimes children will just leave it because they, they think there is nobody behind them, they are being maltreated, and they will live in the same, you know, in that line. They need to work for themselves, they need to stand and speak. Dear listeners, once again, you are listening to Theta Forum on Radio Evangelium. Uh, Father Terence, you are welcome to this program. Um, I don't know, it, it, it seems that you know so much about Ngam Shaviki and uh, it's like you, you are carrying on a, a, a tour on uh, her behalf. So wh what is it all about? Anyway, it's quite interesting and very fascinating, especially talking about uh, Kamsha Vicky. You see, discovery is something which is becoming, I mean, known to the world, or I mean, to us Cameroonians. We are knowing her, but now, but someone I knew along, and I foresaw something in her. I knew her big heart, and I knew I could, I could foresee what she, where, where she was heading to. And I would say, knowing her, I to know her from her background and from the fact, from the point of view of faith. Because it's someone who has been a nun before. And it's someone who has been so active in church. And it's someone who had a very deep experience of faith. So knowing her as a woman of a brief heart, big heart and so on, I wish to look at her from that point of view, the point of view of faith, which really shaped her. And so if now he's going humanitarian, we should not only see her from the humanitarian or from point the philanthropic view. point yeah. of view, we should see her as a lady of faith, someone who cares for the other people. And that is faith, actually, caring for the other people. When, when, when you talk about faith, this thing comes to my mind. Uh, you know, the, the, we used to listen to this music, women of faith, uh, women of faith. Somebody told me that there are some women in America, they, 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 are, they are so inspirational in their singing, so much so that when they sing for you and you believe, you, you, you get well. Na, 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 coming to the issue of faith at the same time, you see, nowadays people want to see miracles happen. But what I want to tell the general public this afternoon on Radio Evangelium is that oh faith <laughs> comes before miracles. Yes, your faith, and your faith shall make you well. And this is clearly stated in the Bible. And like you have just said yeah. that, you know her so much, her background. And somebody who has been a nun before, and we shouldn't only look at her 